Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Last week we've added a shop customization to the game. And today I want to continue with the topic that is very similar to that. Something that is also very closely related to the visual part of the game. Besides shops themselves, decoration plays a huge part in today's malls. Palm trees, flowers, benches, fountains, you name it. So far, I only had a very limited options to choose from, as I only had a couple of decoration pieces in the game. But today, I want to fix it. Before I move on, let's make a quick list of what is available in the game right now. There's a simple tree, small bush, a decoration flower, simple wooden bench, wooden and glass fence, this small thing, and some flowers. It was not that bad for a start, but as I slowly moved on with the development and I started adding more and more into the game, I slowly realized that this set of decoration can get you really that far. Then people at Discord and other places started mentioning fountains. And I knew exactly what I had to do the next day. In the morning, I had to make one big decision that would determine the process of building fountains in the game. I could either create a couple of very detailed designs with its own benches, trees, flowers and so on, which could look really good but would not really leave any space for additional changes. Or I could create a very simple design and let the player decide how they want the fountain to look like. You can probably guess which method I chose. Letting the players to create their own advanced design is, in my opinion, the superior approach here. To test everything out, I made two simple fountain designs. One circular and another rectangular. In order to create the water, I had to learn the Niagara particle system, as I never used it before in this project. I found out that the fountain template is actually pretty good and with the simple tweaks I was able to achieve... Oh no... And <laughs> with more additional tweaks I was... Um... Damn it! And with more additional tweaks I was finally able to achieve this nice water effect. With fountains, I had an amazing opportunity to add additional decoration pieces. A palm tree, this cute water jumping thingy, a new bench, this divider, a pillar and some grass. With all of this added into the game, let me finally show you what it exactly means to have a creative freedom. Every good thing comes to an end, and so does this mini-series of 5 devlogs that I released each week. Now it is time for me to jump back into the development and focus on the game again. In the meantime, I have a couple of ideas for videos that I could make that are still in the space of game development, but are not exactly devlogs like these videos. Please let me know in the comments if that is something that would be interesting to you. 
if you haven't done so already, you can wishlist small craze on Steam or join our Discord server. Between videos, Discord is probably the place where I am most active and it's always the first place where I share some cool new feature that I've added into the game. Right now I am not really sure when I will release the next devlog, but I'm pretty sure that it will be as soon as I have something worthwhile to share. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Ba da ba da ba!